This is another excellent book from No Starch Press, Python Playground. Um, it's uh, Let's have a look at the um, index. Now what I like about this book, it sort of takes Python further. So the books that we've looked at so far have been really to teach you how to do basic uh, tasks in Python, to teach you the syntax and to teach you the structure of of, of programs. Um, but what this does is sort of take it a bit further. It's aimed at people who've understood the syntax and want to work on projects. Now, projects are great. They're really useful for uh, cementing what you know and teaching you to problem solve. But sometimes you can't find projects to do. Uh, and what this does, this uh, book, is it gives you projects that you can work through and follow through. It explains the ideas behind them. It, ex it explains the problem solving strategies. Um, let's have a look. So part one, warming up, parsing iTunes playlists. This is the first project and I would say the least interesting project, but you know, you've got to start somewhere. Um, and then you have this Spirographs project where you have to use uh, mathematical functions to draw. Um, and that's uh, an interesting one. And they really get more and more interesting. So this one, Conway's Game of Life, this is a really, uh, a really useful project, project in terms of uh, applying maths to programming to solve, a, a, to answer a question. Um, and, and then we look at, uh, at this one, generating uh, musical overtones uh, with the Carplus Strong algorithm. Um, so here we're learning how to apply an algorithm um, to data, that data being audio. Um, this is simulating uh, flocks of birds, chapter five, and then fun with images. And, and this bit I found the most interesting interesting. Um, this is ASCII art um, where you can make, um, where you can convert pictures, images into um, into art out of ASCII symbols. Um, what else do we have here? Photo mosaics. Um, and let's have a look. Uh, understanding OpenGL, particle systems. That's another good one where you're um, modeling particles uh, using you know physics and then applying those physical um, equations to make particles behave as if they were subject to uh, gravitational force and that kind of thing volume rendering uh, that's another good one that's looking at sort of 3d projections of 2d images or forming 3d um, 3d images uh, using um, you know 2d slices and then we look at hardware. So let's just take a look. Let's first of all take a look at a, uh, one of the early ones. So this is that Spirograph um, uh, chapter that I've talked about. And again, as these no starch books tend to do, it breaks everything down uh, and does it very well. So it t talks you through what you're actually trying to do here. It takes a little bit uh, of time to explain the mathematics. And then um, it explains uh, more of the equations on how you draw these smaller circles. Uh, and then, as always, it it starts with the code. So how do you how do you transform the maths into code? And here we have. And, and again, I like this in the No Starch books. It writes the code, and then it has these these points here which where it explains exactly what's going on in the code and uh you know so we're using uh, objects here um and we we build up the code sort of function by function object by object with really good explanations of what's going on and why uh, and then right at the end you get the complete code and um then you get some exercises at the end, so just some questions of you know how you might be able to take that further. So that's a an, an sort of more introductory part. And then let's go to the the one my favourite one here is the uh, 3D projection one. Where is that? Hold on a second. Let me see. Here we are. Volume rendering. Sorry, when I say 3D projection, I mean volume rendering. Right, okay, so it, we, get, we get a little bit of the theory like we did before, and then we get how to apply that theory into actual problem solving and transforming that theory into code. And that is the key skill. When you're, you know, when you're taking Python a bit further, it's not just about, you know, how does a list work? How does a dictionary work? How do I, you know, create a for loop that goes through a dictionary or through, through a list? It's 
when I have a problem, how do I break it down into smaller chunks and solve that problem? And this book takes you through with some really interesting projects on how to do that. And it teaches you it doesn't it's not about teaching you the syntax of the code, although it will cement that understanding. It's about teaching you the thought processes and the approach. And that is, you know, with some really, really interesting and useful projects, um, you know, and applying mathematical ideas and converting them into code. And I really like this book. You know, if you're if you've if you've sort of completed the first steps of learning Python and you want to move on to something more challenging, this book will will really help you, and I would definitely recommend it. Then it goes on to the hardware hacking, um, where it teaches you, you know, it has projects using hardware that you can plug into a you know a Raspberry Pi, um, you know, where you can plug some hardware in and control it with a Raspberry Pi, or I think there's an Arduino in there as well. Um, so I would really recommend it. It's a, an excellent book. Um, another great book by No Starch Press uh, for Python. Uh, if this review has been helpful to you, then please do like it, share it, and um, do feel free to comment uh, in the comment section. Thank you very much.